The WTF Gamers Only Show. Hey guys, it's Nolan Mackey from WTF Gamers Only, and this is... Kenzie Mackey. And we're here with our two friends... Taylor. <laughs> Jamie. And we went to a retro game convention today, and we were just going to show off some of the stuff we uh, saw. What did you guys think of the convention? I liked it. It was really nice. I yeah. really enjoyed it. A uh, lot of good stuff, but a lot of expensive stuff at the same time. Yeah. yeah. There, there were Actually, some... Oh, go ahead. I was like, there were some higher price, like, there were some higher price vendors there but there's some who had really good deals <coughs> yes. there was, yeah there was definitely some good deals there and we will be showing you some of those yeah. but uh yeah it was it was really fun uh wanted to film some of it but it was kind of in a small area and it was, it was really crowded, crowded. Was really <laughs> so uh we decided to show you some of the stuff we got um instead so i guess we'll let taylor uh Ooh, go for he got the most <laughs> what did you, you pick up taylor uh well i did a lot of trading today instead of just like picking stuff I know, up he got the most and spent the least yeah it's like so explain how you did that so like you just took like some of your extras and just like trading them to booze or, like, yeah i took a lot of games so i just picked up uh, just kind of to trade eventually games that I thought might rise in price. They, they didn't. <laughs> some other stuff that just had laying around the house um, that I just wasn't playing. Uh, I think it was like the Valkyria games, some of that on the PS4. Um, and I took the. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, I, <laughs> I, took, uh, I took those. Uh, I just kind of wandered around just asking people, like, doing trades like, or buying? Like a game vagabond. <laughs> yeah, it was like. I mean, it was, some people gave me really weird looks, but everyone else was just like, yeah, we'll, we'll do a trade, or we'll buy it off you, depending on how much you want. It was actually pretty good. I What'd you get? I got my stuff. Uh, I, don't know, I guess I'll start with the PS1 games. Okay. Um, the first game I got was Chrono Cross. Uh, when I got it, it was brand new, uh, Greatest Hits, which, like, I guess isn't that difficult to find mm -hmm. brand new, so I opened it up anyway. It's still a great game, though. It is a great game. I've actually never played it, so I'm looking, f <laughs> looking forward to playing it. <laughs> cool. Um, the next game I got... Uh, we'll we'll oh. go around the circle, then. So, Kenzie and I are getting, like, uh, trying to get a lot of the Sonic, Sonic games, yeah. no matter how bad or good they are. Speaking of how bad, we got Sonic 3D Blast, so. Yeah! <laughs> it's a great game! I'm uh, excited. No, it's not, but <laughs> we got this bundled with another game, so it wasn't it wasn't too bad. But, yeah, we will probably never play this, but we got it anyway. What'd you turn Oh, yeah. we're going to play All right, I'll start <laughs> off with one right now. <laughs> Castlevania Portal of Ruin. Great, great Metroidvania game. It is... Pretty easy, not as hard as I would say the original Symphony of the Night, but it's a really good game, good deal on it, didn't spend a fortune, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, this one actually is really cool, I remember playing this one. It's like a, don't you, it's kind of like Mario 64, you go through portraits, right? Mm-hmm. So, oh, wow. Yeah, it was kind of weird, name. That's so cool. but like it's 2D, it's not like. That's not yeah, cool, cool though. But it's really cool, you get to switch between the two main characters, are like use them both at the same time and do like big moves and stuff like that. It's a really good game. Yeah. The, both of the DS. <laughs> what else did you get? Uh, I picked up Final Fantasy Chronicles. Ooh. It's, I think, out now I only need like two more Final Fantasy games on the PS1. I'll be good on those. Uh, but yeah, I picked it up. I've played four. I haven't played Chrono Trigger. That's why I also picked up Chrono Cross because I want to play both of them. That'll be interesting. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so which that has Chrono Trigger and... And four. Final Fantasy four. No, just four. Yeah, uh, five and six is on it. Uh, anthology. anthology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, this one you that got. Great so I'll let you yeah. talk about that one. So I got Eternal Darkness. Um, I had it, but then I ended up trading it, so I had to go back and get it again. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a psychological horror game. And nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good with horror games, so <coughs> I'm probably going to scream a lot. Live stream. Yes. No. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. Yes. That's not gonna happen. Yes. Um, it will but happen. <laughs> the cool thing about this game is that it has this thing called a sanity meter, and the sanity meter or sanity effects, um, you have this bar, and when it gets lower, you get these really crazy things that happen. Like there's instances wherever you'll have like this weird effect where the screen will be like when you're trying to set your game. Um, do you want to delete your game? Hit yes or no. And if you hit no, it's going to delete your game. It's going to say deleting your game. It doesn't actually delete it, but it freaks you out like that. And there's other things like, um, there's blood on walls and stuff that can happen. Um, lots of crazy things. So I'm really glad that we got this back in our collection. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> and my second game's a repeat, but it's still a good one. It's another Castlevania on the DS. Yes. The uh, precursor to the last one, mm -hmm. right? 
But right. same mechanics, basically. No double play on that one right there. But it does have a crazy little mechanic where you have to draw symbols on the stylus. If you're not yes. fast at it, you will die. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It was a great cool. game, though. The bosses in this one are really mm -hmm. cool. It gave me all three of them now, so I am done collecting Castlevanias for the DS. Awesome. Woo! All right, Taylor, best oh. one. <laughs> the last piece yes. one I picked up. Uh, was actually the last one I picked up at the convention was <laughs> Wu Ting Shaolin Style. <laughs> Never played it, but don't play it. It's Wu Ting. Stream it. Yeah, we're gonna stream uh, it tonight. Yes. So I don't know. It'll be. It'll definitely be pretty interesting. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I just want to bump some uh, Wu Ting and <laughs> kick some ass. Yes, yes, yes. But yes, yes. it'll be interesting. That led, that led bills, y'all. Yeah. yeah. All right. uh, I'll knock both of these out at once. So two more Sonic games. Ba -boom. Sonic Spin Ball. Nothing special. And then Mean Bean Machine, which is really cool about this game. The uh, Sega didn't want to release Puyo Puyo Pop in the States because they thought it couldn't compete with Tetris. Right. And so they like put a bunch of Sonic characters in it and called it Mean Bean Machine. But it's actually Puyo Puyo. But both of these games are really cool, but just to fill out the Sonic collection, nothing really special there. And me, I bought a limited run game. <laughs> What is the name? How do we pronounce this? Uh, Ace Asbury. 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 Come on, Asbury. Let's not look up Asbury. <laughs> Don't no, search that Asbury. game. Don't get mad at me for mentioning his name, people, please. But it's a great smoke. I mean, it's really, really beautiful, really, really nice looking, really, really challenging, but it's super short game. And limited run. So explain mm -hmm. to people what limited run is. Yeah. What is it like? They only make like what three thousand copies of each, or is it, it more than that? Depends on it's what like... game it is, but like basically they take digital games mm -hmm. and they make physical copies of them, but only in limited quantity. Makes them really hard to get and really sought after, but yeah. But know. really, really beautiful game. Can't wait to pop it in, try to beat it. Just really short, unfortunately, but happy to have it in the collection. Boom. Your turn. All right, this is the <laughs> only Wii game I picked up today. Uh, House of the Dead Overkill. And it's the best. It's awesome. <laughs> I've only played it once, but I am a giant fan of Grindhouse horror films, so I'm very excited to see, like, all the other episodes of the, just the, uh, what was the Pulp Fiction ripoff that we played? It's so good, yes. It's like a Pulp Fiction ripoff. It's so It's like death proof, it's, but it's House of the Dead. Yeah. Shooter. <laughs> awesome. And then we got Power Stone for the Dreamcast. Oh, great game. Which is an amazing game. If you haven't played it, it's kind of like Smash Brothers in a 3D space. Um... Ooh. Made by Capcom, uh, no, no, like none of their like returning characters or anything. Nice. It's all characters specifically for this game, but it is really awesome. One of the best party games on the Dreamcast. Really good sure. hidden gem on the Dreamcast. Yeah, this game is super awesome. Uh, there's also a Power Stone two, um, and it has like a bunch of mini games and stuff. But that one's a little bit harder. Yeah. To find. But yes, yeah, picked it up is. Power Stone. And unfortunately, I have only one game left, but it's a big one. <laughs> it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a really a, big one. <laughs> it's Darius Bust. Gonna, I don't think it's going to film again. Dur Darius, Darius Bust. Burst. CS Burst Chronicle Saviors Limited Edition. It's a really hard game to find. <coughs> it was sealed, but I have a kind of a law that if it's Probably. a game in this house, <laughs> it doesn't stay sealed. I have to play it. Breaking the seal. And that's one also a limited time. time. Yes, very. Yes. So oh, yeah. It's yeah. a very sought after collector's edition. So, I was happy to find it today, but it cost it. it and cost it a we lot. were reading the back, and it says over 3,000 stages. Mm -hmm. And we thought at first that meant that they were like uh, randomly, randomly generated. generated. But nope. No, there's actually 3,000 unique stages on this. <laughs> so this is insane. Um, yeah, we'll have some fun with that one for sure. Oh, oh yes, guys. <clears throat> All right. And then. Next will be the PS2 games I picked up. The first one is Grandia 2. Uh, actually, I'll probably go ahead and knock yeah, out go both ahead. of them too. Yeah, I picked up Grandia 3 as well. I have the first one. I haven't beaten it yet, but I figured I'd go ahead and pick up. Have you even started it yet? Yes. Okay, cool. I figured I'd go ahead and pick up the next two just in case. And then I also have to get, I think, Grandia Extreme on the PS2. Mm -hmm. So is Grandia, like, how is it different from Final Fantasy? Or is it, like, is it just turn-based? Is it tactical? Like, what is it? It's turn-based. It's turn-based, yeah. yeah, but it's 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 a way different type of art style, almost battle systems. It's kind of similar, but not. Yeah, the first one um, was almost working designs game, and it wasn't. Yeah. But it was made by Game Arts. Um, I think the yeah these were this one was made by Game Arts as well, but then this one was Square Enix instead. But okay. really great RPGs. I'll check those out for sure. Yeah. And then you want to do one of them? You want to do this one? Or you want to do this? One? You can do this. One. I mean, whichever one, I mean. <laughs> so, so. Oh, you're showing it now. So we got this one. So we've been collecting DS games. 
fucking. This is one of the harder DS games to find. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's only been made more hard to find because I don't know if any of you guys watch Metal Jesus, but recently he did a Hidden Gems, and this video was like at the top of everyone's list after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a sequel to a PS1 game, uh, Tales of Concerto, and you were reading about some of the gameplay. Like, what's it like? I mean, from what I can see, um, it's just like, you know, an adventure game. Um, you have tons of, like, cats and dogs that are, like, anamorphic. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, Furries, <it's, laughs> you rejoice. Yes. A kind of cool little fun fact, um, Solito Robo is Japanese for Sky and Rocket. I mean, Sky yeah. and Robot. Sky and Robot. Oh. So. Nice. Uh, yeah, but we got a really good deal on this, so I'm really excited to play this. Uh, X Seed, Solito Robo, check it out. Yeah. And what Jimmy tapped out, so <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. done. Next up was Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2. Uh, I actually don't have the first one, and I've never played it, but it's one of those Shin Megami games I've been meaning to pick up and at least try out. So I figured it was a pretty cheap purchase because there's a little bit of water damage. It's a great game, but you need to play the first one. I know, first. I'm gonna get the first one. Because you can one. carry over data to the second Wait, one. Wait, really? Yes. I mean, it looks really fun. Oh, it's a great game. So, I mean, I'm sure I'll... A lot of Shin Megami Tensei references are in it. That's like you're like the Shin Megami Tensei dude. I, I have oh, yeah. stuff in there. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, and then our last one we got for the Game Boy Color. A if complete copy of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Now this, I am like a huge fan of top-down Zelda. That's mm -hmm. like my preferred way to play Zelda. Maybe I'm no, crazy. No, you're right. But, uh... This one and the other one, it was released kind of like Pokemon games where there was two released at once. Mm -hmm. Both developed by Capcom and really awesome. I've actually only played them on the 3DS. There's like a, uh, a port of them mm -hmm. on the 3DS. Super cool games. But yeah, we got this one complete. A good deal with the Solid Robo. But then when we opened it up, we found <laughs> that ba -da -da -dum, they included the manual for the other one as well. So... <laughs> Got a little bonus surprise in there. Ooh, can't beat that. that so, yeah, that would have been nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Weird having the one game box and the other one not box. Yeah, though. well, then I would have ended up spending more money than I need to because we got to have the box now. <laughs> if you, if you uh, bought uh, Oracle yeah, Seasons. Yeah, the disease like, of the collecting box. video games. But you got to <laughs> love how they did the, like the, all the front of it with the chrome. Oh, and all yeah, that. This, this is really, this nice. Is really, really nice awesome. I've always wanted to get these games with the Game Boy Color. Because I mostly collect like Game Boy Advance, but there's a few exceptions for Game Boy and Game Boy Color that I want to get. This was definitely one. Yeah, he likes, really Nolan really likes to make sure that they're all boxed, too. Boxed on <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm just that way. Like, <laughs> Well, it's kind, of, it's kind of nice to have because I mean, it's Boy. a little bit better display for like a, yep. a Game Boy, yeah, Game Boy well, Color. Yeah, well, that's the one thing I don't like about collecting Game, Game Boy Advance. stuff is like, there's no good way to display it on a shelf yeah. unless you have yeah. the box. I mean, there's like those DS cases that people made and stuff. Those are pretty cool, but yeah, yeah, I, this, yeah I make them. This is the original. <laughs> I like I like being able to like take it off the shelf and look at all that. So, oh yeah, Zelda Oracle of Ages. And then what you got, Taylor? And my last one was actually the first purchase <coughs> of the day was a Persona 3 complete with the art and the soundtrack included. Um, I've played a little bit of it. It's probably Probably one of my favorite Persona games, just from the, like the beginning of it. Um, it's very interesting. I have FES already. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it was like. So what's the right? difference between FES and that? FES just has was it the bonus story to it yeah. at the end of the game. And so I think it's, it's like a, a, it's like a game of the year edition kind of. Kind of, yeah. I would say, because Persona 4 Golden did. I mean, it's basically like Persona 4 Gold. I okay. think they did they, 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 they re-release one on the PS4. I mean, PS2. Um, that's for which one? Persona 4. Yeah. No, uh, but for Persona 3, I, I don't know if America got it, but we got the FES. I think the bonus stuff on a separate disc. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It also, I mean, I I was excited about the art book alone, so it's, yeah, <laughs> it'll that's be interesting. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, that's everything we got at this convention. Uh, it was really fun, and I'm glad to get good with you guys. And everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, real good time. But yeah, where can people find you at? I'm. It should be up soon. Uh, Cyberfox Media at YouTube. Cool. Dot com. <laughs> Me and you on the Mothman, Mothman Media, Media channel yes. and WTF Gamers Only. And Jamie, you got anything? I might be making a channel. I haven't made my mind yet. Make it, make it, make it. I don't have enough it, stuff, people. Make it, make one it. Us, one of us. One of us. One of us. Yeah, that's cool stuff. That's a lot. We'll make it work. Well, thank you guys for watching, and yeah. uh, be sure to check out WTF Gamers Only for more articles and uh, blog posts, any kind of gaming news and stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you. See you later. Bye. I want to be on YouTube.